What's up guys, Little Dog Dog here. Today we're doing the quest Regicide. So what you're gonna need for this quest is a strip of cloth, one regular bow, this is just a bow made out of uh, a type of wood. Um, can't be a crossbow, just make sure you have a regular bow. 10 regular arrows, these are just gonna be your arrows that uh, have like a normal uh, metal tip, like rune arrows for example. Around two ropes, you could need more, you might not even need both. One limestone, around 10 coal, you could need more or less. Uh, an empty pot and a cooked rabbit and for what I'm gonna recommend is you bring about five food uh, one anti-poison one agility potion and um, make sure you wear combat equipment because you will have to fight a level 58 during this quest I know I've said more than you can fill your inventory with um, so that's why this recommended stuff isn't needed I didn't bring the five food I brought extra ropes I didn't need and then I had extra space um, at the end but uh, you are going to need extra inventory space, you might have to drop some things, so don't bring too much. You can begin this quest after receiving your message from King Lothas. Right after you complete an underground pass, it'll take around 5 to 35 minutes, and then you can speak to him to officially begin the quest. So you're going to speak to King Lothas on the first floor of the Ardoin Castle, and there are no chat options, he just tells you to go to the underground pass and go through the well where you killed uh, Iben um, to get to the Elf City, to Tyr Island. So you need to go to the Underground Pass. Um, it's just here in West Ardoin. <clears throat> it's the same place you went to for Underground Pass, the quest. You can walk there just by going through uh, the gates to West Ardoin. Enter the Underground Pass through the cave entrance in West Ardoin and go up the right path over the rocks. You need to climb over three rock slides to get through this part portion. And you're going to talk to Koftik once you get on the other side to get your damp cloth. Once again, you're going to use an arrow on the damp cloth like you did in Underground Quest. Light that arrow, equip it, and equip the bow, and go up on the platform to the north to shoot the rope. Your character will fall or go down, cross the bridge, and the bridge will go back up. Now head to the north room and grab the plank. And then head southeast to use your rope on the old spike. If you fall, you just need to come back up and cross the bridge once again. Until you get it. After this point, you don't need ropes anymore. You could drop them all if you want. You just need to follow the path to the underground press over the agility shortcuts and such. And now this portion, uh, you need to remember what your specific 5x5 five five gerg was that you could cross to get past this portion, as they're all different. Um, yours could be the same as mine. The odds are slim. You just need to remember what your uh, path was to get over this grid, and you'll get through, pull the lever, and go through the portcullis. Now you just need to bypass these traps here. You don't have to do anything with the orbs of light as they're already gone. You already did that. Just make sure you bypass these traps without getting hit, which I couldn't do. Climb down the well and you'll be to the next part. Now you need to go to the first jail cell on the south side of the jails here. Pick the cage and dig in the mud. Walk west and cross the ledge. Now if you have over 50 thieving, you could skip this agility part by picking the locks on the southern side of this room. Uh, I just did the agility shortcut to show you which path to take if you don't have that 50 thieving. Now you're going to go south once you're across the agility shortcut and go through the pipe. You don't have to do anything with the unicorn in this room, just pass through the tunnel here. And follow this room through also because you don't need to do anything with the paladins. You don't have to get their crests. You just have to make sure that you don't hit the traps in this part of the room. So uh, make sure you use your plank on the flat rock or the stalagmites. Those are located right here. And then you can just go through the door in the western part of the room. This is going to bring you into Ivan's room. You don't have to do anything in this room either, you just have to get to um, Ivan's hangout. So you're going to cross the bridges here. If you have low agility, I recommend um, using your agility flask if you brought one right here um, so you don't fall because this could uh, eat up a lot of time in the quest. 
We just have to cross these bridges that I'm crossing here. This is the shortest path to Ivan's room. You don't even need to kill a Zamorak follower um, to put on their gear as you already killed Ivan. That's what was keeping you out of the room. Ivan will appear like he's in the room, but until you go through the door, um, you'll actually see wizards standing in the room. So climb down the well once you're in this room. If you want, get your prayer back up at the altar here, and then you're going to exit the room to the west. When you exit this cave, it's going to bring you out into Tyranwyn. Now you just need to follow the only path available to you west, right before you get up to this leaf trap. Um, an elf will spawn behind you, and Movran and another elf are going to attack him and kill him. Now these, uh, just click through the dialogue, and then these leaf traps and other traps located here, um, you need to avoid on your path to the elf camp to go speak to Lord Iowerth. The first one is the green one, that's where you're at right now. Um, the green one to the south is a spike trap, and the other green one to the west, that is another leaf trap. If you just click, uh, your character will walk right over these, it won't stop your character. So you need to climb up the walls if you fall down, and jump over them. Now, uh, it can be kind of hard to get find your way around here if you've never been here. So um, I'm about to walk past the actual spikes that we need to uh, go through right now. You can see the poor edit right here, uh, where I walk back, realizing that I missed it. But the spikes are located right here. Um, so you just need to click on them to pass the spikes, and then head north. And there's going to be one more leaf trap you have to jump over before you can get to the elf camp that's located right here. Cross the log balance, and you will be in the elf camp. Lord Iowerth is located on the eastern side of the camp. Standing there, he doesn't roam. Speak to him, and he's going to have you go meet his elf tracker. You just need to click through the dialogue. And his elf tracker is just to the south. Now you can cross the log balance, um, and the green is the traps once again, that is that leaf trap you cross to get to the elf camp, and then there are no more traps between you and the elf tracker who is located right near the lodestone. So cross the log balance and walk south. Make sure you uh, click on that uh, leaf trap to jump over it, and then just walk south. You can see the lodestone from here, so just keep going towards it. Click on the lodestone to discover it, that way we can use it later in the quest and speak to the elf tracker. He'll uh, ask you if you have anything for him to prove that you are with his cause. He'll say no and you have to go back to Lord Iorth right now to get a crystal pendant. Jump over the leaves. Walk across the log balance and you'll be back in the elf camp to speak to Lord Iorth. Once again, no chat options, just click through, you'll get the crystal pendant, and now you need to head back to the elf tracker. Avoid the leaf trap once again, and go speak to the elf tracker. If you wanted to, you could home teleport here, since you've already discovered it, uh, and he's right there, but it's if you have loading screens on, it's about the same time to walk. Now you're going to speak to him, and he'll see that you have the crystal necklace. That means Lord Iorth must trust you, and he wants you to help search the camp. Um, so he's going to have you search the west side of the camp. Once you get through all the dialogue options, you can just click buy. And just next to the lodestone to the west, kind of northwest of the lodestone, you're going to find some footprints. Search these footprints outside the dense forest. Uh, click on the dense forest once to try and go through and then head back to the elf tracker and he's going to train you how to get through the dense forest. Just click through the dialogue and then say bye and then click through the dense forest to get through. You have to click through it uh, three times to get all the way through it. Make sure you kill this Tyrus guard or you'll have to kill another one later anyways. And then you're going to walk north Watch out for the tripwire between the two rocks right here. And then go through the dense forest once again. Now head west. And you'll make your way over to Terrace's camp. There's one more dense forest you have to go through. This is to the south of this big clearing here. 
and you'll be in Tyrus's camp. Speak to the general, located right in the middle of the camp, and your character will ask to see Lord Tyrus. The general will tell you no, but while you're here, make sure you pick up three barrels, two for this quest, and uh, one for a later quest, so you don't have to come back. So, the, uh, there's one barrel next to the big tent and two behind it. Pick up all three. Once you have all three, go ahead and home teleport back to Tyranwyn, because you have to go back to uh, the elf camp. This is a good opportunity to organize your inventory, as you're going to need um, to get something from Lord Iworth at this point. So drop all the ropes you have, um, but you're going to need the rest. You need the coal. Um, you don't need your bow at this point anymore if you want to drop that. Um, basically, you can drop the plank too. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So get back to the elf camp where Lord Iworth is. You're going to speak to him, and he's going to give you a book of booms, or bangs. One of those two. It's a book about explosives. So it teaches you how to make explosives using sulfur, uh, charcoal, um, and limestone, basically. So you need to go get the uh, sulfur and the charcoal. These are located right here. The fastest way to get there is the hearth. The green is where the charcoal is located, and the sulfur is in the red. Once again, I didn't home teleport, I just walked, as it's not really too much of a difference. Home teleporting might be faster for you. So the sulfur is located just on the ground, just take a sulfur. The charcoal is a little harder to see. You're going to use your barrels on the water here where it says take tar. It's in this little clearing between the sulfurs. Just fill two of your barrels, keep the third one empty, grind up your sulfur, and now you're going to head to um, Berthorp or Lumbridge, anywhere you want with a furnace to um, bake your limestone. So you're going to use your limestone on the furnace, you're going to get some quick lime, and then you're going to want to head to Port Serum to walk to Remington and see the chemist. You just need to walk west from the Port Serum Lodestone to basically get to the chemist's um, house. Go inside, talk to him, and choose the third chat option. Ask about regicide. And then ask how to make the, um, the thing, which is the first chat option. That's how you how to use the um, distill. And then after that, you can just go and make the barrel of naphtha. Now, this is kind of tricky. You have to be uh, easy with what you're doing. So you're going to turn the right regulator twice until the left gauge is in the green. And then you're going to turn the left regulator once. Um, it's easy to mess this up. If you do, you'll have to restart. So you're going to turn the right regulator two times and wait for that left gauge to get in the green. Then you're going to turn the left regulator once to stop it. Now leave the two things there and you're going to start clicking the middle to add coal. Add two coal at first until the right gauge starts moving. And then add coal slowly to try and keep it in the green. If it goes into the orange, you'll be okay. If it exceeds the orange, you're going to mess it up. If you run out of coal, the green bar will stop where it's at. It won't go lower, so you can go get more coal. Once that green bar is filled up all the way, uh, you'll get your barrel of naphtha once you exit the interface. And now you're going to want to use your sulfur on it. Grind up your limestone. So yeah, grind up your quick lime. Use your pot of quick lime on the barrel of naphtha. Use your ground sulfur on the barrel of naphtha and then add your strip of cloth. You'll have a barrel bomb, and now you can head back to Tyranwyn to blow up King Tyrus's camp. So just near the lodestone is where you need to go, through the dense forest, right near the footprints. Just continue your way through like you did before. 
Head north once you're through the dense forest. Watch out for the tripwire right here. Go through the other dense forest. Except this time when you're in the clearing, you're going to use your raw, or your cooked rabbit and give it to the um, plainclothes guard standing by the catapult. If this is going to distract him and you can use your barrel bomb on the catapult and you're going to need a shortcut scene in which your character uses the catapult to launch the barrel bomb at King Tyrus' camp and effectively killing him. Now you need to head back to Iworth. You can just home teleport. It'll get you there pretty quick. Once again, make sure you watch out for that leaf trap. Cross the log balance. Speak to King Iworth and you're gonna get a letter as proof to give to uh, King Lothus and Ardoin that you have killed King Tyrus. Now this opens up a new passageway between uh, just north of West Ardoin and um, the Elf area. So you just go through the dense forest here, right past the gates of Prif. Walk over this log balance here, go through the dense forest, just by the water. Walk east, go through the dense forest here, Cross the log balance once more, watch out for the tripwire, and then you'll be on the path. Now you don't have to take this way, uh, I was just showing you how to get there. You can just uh, basically home teleport instead of going this, this direction. This takes longer and home teleporting is going to be way faster. You see that uh, right after I get through the end gate here of showing you where this is, I just home teleport to Ardoin because it's faster. So you're going to go walk back to King Lothus to turn the quest in. Except once you get to the gates of the castle, you're going to be stopped by an elf, Arianwin. He tells you that um, you killed the good guy, actually, and that King Lothus is trying to let Zamorak in to destroy Camelot. So you read the letter, and uh, Arianwin tells you that you messed up, but you can work with him now to try and fix it, and we're going to keep it a secret. So head back to King Lathus to just turn in the quest, um, as usual. You tell him that uh, you have killed King Tyrus, and uh, he wants proof. He looks at the letter, none the wiser that it has been read, the seal has been broken, and that's quest complete. If this helped you, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out some of my stuff. I make boss guides, quest guides, and event guides. Thanks for watching.